Look at it. Ooh. That's what we like to see, guys. Morning guys, welcome to another episode of Inglorious Fishing. It's currently a Sunday morning, we're heading down towards the boat and we're going out turbot fishing and brill fishing around the sandbank around Orkney guys. I'm going out with my mate Matt. You'll know him from a previous video where he caught his first ever turbot out with me. Here's a little glimpse of it. So guys, there's Matt with his fish. He says he's been coming up the banks all year and he ain't had one yet. And look at that, beautiful big power paddle tail on it. Fantastic fish that mate, you're happy with that yeah, eh? well happy mate. And yeah, so he's coming to pick us up and uh, we're going to jump on his boat, we're going to grab my rods off my boat, he's going to come in here, into the marina, pick us up and we're going to start making our way out. We're going to head north first, do a little bit of mackerel fishing, try and get a little bit of bait and then we're going to start making our way up there guys. So, I hope you enjoy it. If you haven't liked already, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell to get the latest notifications. And let's start making our way out there guys, let's start making our way towards the boat. Let's go get these turbos, let's do it. So guys, this is where my boat's kept, this is the marina. Um, dive boat there, that's donkey divers. But yeah, lovely little marina this. Uh, fresh water for always cleaning down the boat. There's always parking, you can always park on the slip and stuff like that. So that's why I prefer this little marina. Lovely little boat that. She's a cracking little vessel. Turbo Werbos, we're gonna go get them, Shag. But yeah, we're gonna head out there and hopefully we can get some of these guys. Hopefully it's not gonna be blowing too much of a tide off Orgney because yesterday I went out and we tried going up Godine and it was like four knots of tide and it was ridiculous. So hopefully there's not that much tide up there and we can get a few of these turbos. Let's go hit them. So guys, we've got the rods. Oh, there's Matt now. Matt's making his way in, guys. Hangs over there, pressure cleaning the boats. Yeah, there's our boat for the day. All the gear's on and we're off, guys. Let's go. We're out of there. Let's go get these turbos. So guys, we've arrived up Bank de la Shoal. We were going to go up to the uh, Southwest Casket Banks, but we've decided to come up the Shoal because we might be fishing over low water. Now we've got long nose on as bait, guys. That's the only bait we've got at the moment. We're going to be feathering up for some mackerel and stuff like that. But that's, uh, so what you can see in the background is Sark, Herm, Guernsey. Over here is Alderney. That's quite clear. And as you can see, guys, if I go to the front of the boat, you can see France is really clear. That's Cap de la Hague over there. That's where the nuclear power station is. So we're starting to come over the bank now. The bank's starting to make. We're drifting at two knots, which is uh, not too bad for up here, guys. So hopefully we can bring you a few fish. Hopefully we get a few turbot and a few brill. I don't know what it is. It's big. 
bite me in the tide. Bit of tote. And the rod there, mate. Oh, it's just come off. Big tope for sure, that. Big tope. It's just come off, guys. We've lost it, whatever it was. It was taken line. Woo! Definitely a tope. Let's have a look what the damage is. That was definitely a tope. Uh, there's no way a run like that, turbot wouldn't run like that. I'd just be dead weight, not running like that. That's a turbot, uh, a tope. And there you go. Hook's gone. Oh well, it's not the turbot, but it was certainly a mighty fish. Hopefully we can get him next time. Let's get back to it. Well guys, see Matt's rod going. I think he's got a fish on. We're not quite sure. I'm gonna get the net just in case. Well, hopefully it's a uh, turbot or a broom. Never know. Some weight there, mate. Yeah, a little bit away, mate. Right, so we don't really know yet. Nice bend. We'll see. Gonna get, oh, sorry, mate. Get the net in there ready. I don't think it's gonna be a dogfish. Oh. oh. Caught up. There's definitely a fish there. Bring it up. It's a flatty. Bring it up. <laughs> it's a little turbo. Little turbo. Fine little turbot that guys. First turbot of the day. Absolutely beautiful. Gonna show her that. Oh well. First turbo though, Shag. Yeah, first one. Beautiful. Right guys, we're gonna get that off the hook. So guys, one final show of the turbot there. You happy with that one, Shag? Yeah, happy beautiful days, turbot. Man. Right, let's get her back. She'll go back just nicely, this guy. You watch it go back, straight back down to the depths. And down she goes. Straight back down, hopefully to get a little bit bigger. Let's get a few more. And we got 80 pound mono on, boy. Big fish on, guys. Here it goes. We've got 80 pound mono on. And a full mackerel. Has he dropped it? Oh no, he's still there. Coming towards me. Here he goes. No, he's still there. Gonna go for a run. Come on, Luke. Gonna be a tote this, guys, for sure. Now he may go for another run. Once he comes up a bit, he will. You have to watch these other lines. Oh, he just come off. Just come off. Wouldn't have snapped the line, neither. Be very surprised, that's got 80 pound mono on. Definitely come off guys, 80 pound mono on this though. Still got my weight there. There's definitely no mackerel. God, that was screaming line, that's two tote we've lost now. Let me look at the damage. Look, the up come off. It didn't snap. I reckon it just untied. My hook weren't tied strong enough. Oh no, he bit through it, look. Look at the chafe mark. That's 80 pound mono he bit through there, guys. That's 80 pound mono. So we're gonna get another hook on and see if we can get him again. Let's get him. Fish on, guys. That almost took the rod in. <laughs> this is a big fish. This is big. It's just come off again. Come off. 
Must be absolutely nailing it. We need a wide prey. That's 80 pound mono, that guy. That was, see you later. Wish we had a wide prey. Yeah, mate. Have a look what the damage is. Oops, gone, I bet. See if we can get some stronger line out of one of those boxes. Or... Wish I had some 200 pound mono here now. Let's turn that drag off. Always the same, guys. Always the same. Let's have a look. That rod nearly went in. I had to grab the rod, guys. Yeah, right next to the hook again. So he must be engulfing it. And it's just chewing off every time. Bollocks. Oh, well, hopefully we'll get him again. So, guys, I had the feathers down while I was playing that tote that we just lost. I think we found some mackerel. Look at that for a mess. It's a hoochie house of mackerel, baby. I'm going to get these off the hook. I think fish on. I'm not sure. This is on the turbot rod uh, with the sand eel on. If it is, it's not very big. Hopefully, I haven't got my other line. That could be possible. Oh, we might have my other line, mate. Look at me. Hold on, we'll see. Oh, we got a turbot. Oh, it's a cuttlefish. Grab the net. Get it. Right, I'm going to pull it up. Ready? Don't hit it. That's it. Get him. Yeah. We got him. Get it. We got a cuttlefish, guys. Let him ink off the boat. Don't want that inking in the boat. Look at him there. There's loads of these around at the moment. It's coming that time of season, guys. So we're going to keep him for bait. So guys, currently 20 past three. We've got all four rods out. Um, open for a turbot. We've had four tote runs as well, guys. One small turbot, a few mackerel and stuff like that. So hasn't been a bad trip so far. There's the overfalls there, guys. Look how flat calm it is. It's like a sheet of glass. And then all of a sudden, there's the overfalls as soon as you start going over the head. So that's the bank making. Hopefully, like I say, we can get a few more turbot, guys. That's what we come up for, turbot and brill. That's what we want. So hopefully, we can get you a few of these fine flatfish, guys. But look at it. It is absolutely flat calm. Alderney, France in the background. You can't beat it, guys. You can't beat it. Let's get these fish. Look at them overfalls. So guys, I've seen Matt's rod bending, and we're not sure whether he's got anything or not. Bit of a bend in the rod. Should be seeing collar soon, guys. No collar. No, we're tangled. Big tangle, we're gonna sort this out, guys. What a mess. Well guys, we were sorting out the mess, and Matt has got a fish on, and I reckon this is a turbot. You wanna see the bend in the rod? <laughs> Check that out! Nice and easy. That is a good fish. This has got to be a flat. This has got to be. Damn deep, isn't it? Yeah, mate. Keep going. We're wrapped in a line. Don't matter. Good fish. Oh, it's a tote. It's a big tote. Look at that, guys. Bring go up. Oh, God. Chuck us the line. Let me get the net. 
It's a big type, guys. Look at that. Right, get it in the net. There you are, in the net. Beautiful. Oh, oh no, he's out. Oh, he's gone. He just snapped. <laughs> oh, well. yeah. At least that one was to the boat, mate. <laughs> to the boat, mate. That was a nice tote, that. Probably about 30 pound, I estimate. Yeah. Beautiful good fish. Good fight. Let's get back down. Let's get some more, guys. Well, guys, Matt's rod did bend over. He's not quite sure if he's got anything or not, but I don't know. I'm quite dubious. I think there could be a small fish on this. What's going on there? You might have to go that side. No, go underneath. Uh, I mean... Keep bringing it up. Yeah, look, you got this line. You've got a fish, though. Oh, no, you haven't. No, no. That's my bait. Oh, oh well. Hopefully, we'll get one, guys. Paradise. Absolute paradise. What was that? Someone grab that, mate. Nah. Nothing. Someone definitely grabbed it. Yeah, it went, eh? Well, hopefully we can get it. There it goes again. Fish on, guys. Fish on. I reckon it's another toast. Big fish, I'll have it as a turbot. It's not fighting that much. If it was a tope, it would normally run. Yeah. But that second one I had didn't run. Hold up. She might be changing her mind in a minute. Come on, let's see this one. Come around this side maybe, mate. Oh, it, it, oh, it wants to go. We're not letting it. Going. Oh, it's trying to. It's under the boat. Oh, it just come off. Right under the boat. Yeah, we just lost it. Literally right under the boat. No! All chafed from the teeth again, guys. Unfortunately, I've only got 30 pound mono on this line. It took my turbot line and not the tote line. So unfortunately, that's the fifth one that's gone now. Oh well, let's get some more. So guys, currently six o'clock, quarter past six. We got the rods out. There's France in the background there. France is closer than what Guernsey is. We've got all knee over there. And yeah, we've got the rods out. We're using mackerel and long nose as bait, guys. And uh, hoping we can get another turbot. Well, we've lost loads of tote. We've had one little turbot. It would be nice just to get one more sun's over there it's going to be setting soon but yeah hopefully guys one more if not we'll be making our way in soon oh guys matt might have a fish on was getting a couple of bites yeah it's a turbot it's a turbot guys 
in the back. Lovely little turbo. Beautiful. All right, Matt said that he's seen bites. That's low. That's another second turbo. It's good, mate. Beautiful. That's a bit bigger. A bit bigger, mate. That one you can take home. That's a keeper. Yeah. All day long. You got your tea that you wanted. Yeah, mate. Happy days. Turbo Werbos, baby. That's what it's all about. Look at that. It has completely engulfed that. Completely engulfed the hook. Yeah. What did, What was that on? The mackerel? Uh, yeah, yeah. Just a little mackerel fillet. Oh, yeah. Mackerel fillet, guys. Prime bait. Let's get some more. Fish on. Thank you, still there. I'm not sure. There's off. Yeah, he's off, mate. He's off. He's off. Oh, hold up. No, he's not. He's on. Swimming towards you, mate. He's on. Oh, yeah, he's trying to go. Let him have a bit of drag if he needs it. He's just come on. Now he's come off. Another taupe again. I don't want these damn taupe guys. I want a turbot. It's taken my line again. That's the sixth taupe I've lost now. Five or six. Anyway, hopefully we can get a few more. Let's get some turbos. Hey right, guys, Matt's fish on. Topey wopey, look at it taking line. There it goes. Oh, he's holding him there, look. He's holding him. He's holding him, look. Tighten your drag a bit more. I don't want him coming off. All this right. one's coming on the boat. <laughs> all right. It might take all our lines as well. Look at it. Woo! That's what we like to see, guys. You need to tighten that drag a little bit more. Or you're not going to get no ground on him. Oh, he might be swimming towards you. Oh, I think he's just come off, mate. Is it? I'm just saying to Matt, we should go up for another drift because it's nearly time to go home. It's been a fantastic day up here. And uh, next thing you know, he picked up his rod and it started screaming off. Big old Topey Wopey. There you are, look, there's the line. Absolutely just pinged him off. Matt said next time he's coming out, he's bring a wire traces. Yeah. He wants to land all these uh, beauties, guys. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to go back into the middle, do one last drift before we start making our way in. But it's been a horribly enjoyable evening up here on the, the shoal bank, guys, up near Orkney. Been fantastic. So guys, that's another episode of Inglorious Fishing. We went out turbot and tote fishing. 
and we certainly landed into a few turbo. I think we had seven or eight taupe and we had two turbo Werbos. One of them was a keeper. So all in all, at least we managed to get some of those elusive turbot guys. And plus those taupe are absolutely astounding. We're gonna have to get some wire traces for next time. And uh, hopefully we do a little bit better with the wire traces. So um, sorry about that. I'm next to Kev Car Central. If you like the channel, like and subscribe. There's gonna be plenty more and we'll see you on the next fishing adventure. It's in glorious fishing, baby. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.